Today, we're shining a spotlight on a critical yet often overlooked approach to public health harm reduction. This strategy focuses on minimizing the negative consequences of substance use rather than solely aiming for abstinence. In this segment, we'll explore how harm reduction initiatives are transforming lives across our region, delve into the impact these programs are having, and hear from those directly involved in these efforts. So HRH413 was started in Western Mass when I originally came back from Boston and had returned to Northampton after living here in the 90s and noticed there was a huge disparity of service provision for people who use drugs and trade sex. I wanted to bring harm reduction services to the individuals who needed it the most, the most marginalized and vulnerable um, because that's what saved my life here in this town at that time was having those services available. People can use resources like HRH, Tapestry in the community is very good for harm reduction. There's locations everywhere in Massachusetts and most cities. Most schools have their own resources as well, but if if you're somebody who doesn't know how to tap into that information, it's easy to just go to where you might get tested for um, sexually transmitted infections or diseases, and usually they have the resources to uh, support that. There's multiple strategies that we use to go about harm reduction, but uh, the first one is just educating people on what it is. It's kind of a new concept to a lot of people. Jess, who I work under the wing of, was a founder of giving definition and meaning to exactly what harm reduction is and I think one of the strategies is to educate people in the first place and just have an understanding of what that means and then go about the rest of it. We do recognize that you know not all drug use is safe not all drug use is conducive you know drug use can absolutely devastate families it can destroy lives it can you know we see it now like the fact that we have lost more people to overdose than the height of the uh, the aids epidemic the, that we've lost more people at the height of the uh, the war in vietnam you know like it's something that we have to look at as a as a country that we have to start doing um or start implementing other tools like safe consumption sites um Drug checking is a huge thing that HRH 413, we're working with Brandeis University so we can do real-time drug checking. So we're using FTIRs, which are mass spectrometers, and you know we have that ability, like that's legal. You can bring a pill to us and we will test it and we can tell you, as you know, just happened last week, and like this pill does have fentanyl in it. We have people, you know, another common drug that we see in like the younger age group is buying Xanax, buying um, benzodiazepines and Adderall, like a lot of the Adderall we're seeing now has fentanyl. So the fact that people can come to HRH 413 and get fentanyl test strips, and we have xylazine test strips, which is an animal tranquilizer we're seeing in drug, um, drug supply now. When we talk about drugs, in our community with honesty and you know recognizing that not all drugs have the same effect you know when i was growing up it was like every drug was bad you were going to die if you smoked marijuana well we know that's not true and we know that most people's you know, their, their gateway drug is usually trauma it's not going to be marijuana it's not going to be alcohol um, giving people like evidence-based facts not using scare tactics. Find out more about HRH 413 on their website, hrh413.org. Thanks to everyone who participated in the creation of this segment, and thanks for watching.